Only five years have passed since the end of World War II. Now, in 1950, former allies Russia and China on one side, and most of the free world led by the United States on the other, eye each other mistrustfully across the 38th parallel, a horizontal line drawn across the middle of Korea. North Korean troops breach that line, letting loose forces that leaders on both sides are not certain they can control. Under the aegis of the United Nations, the U.S. and 15 other countries prepare an expeditionary force to restore the status quo. Allied forces, led by the aggressive U.S. General Douglas MacArthur, push the North Koreans back. Then, the North Koreans are reinforced by the Chinese Communist armies. No longer a proxy war, the specter of direct contest between the U.S. and Soviet Russia and a possible nuclear war causes all parties to inch back from the brink. President Truman withdraws MacArthur, fearing that he will cause the war to expand. Truce talks begin, and a newly elected American president, former General Eisenhower, oversees an informal we peace. We have won an armistice on a single battleground, not peace in the world. The U.S. commits to a hard-edged containment policy to counteract the expansion of communist states. The dividing line between North and South Korea will remain a threatening flashpoint for four decades to come.